There we are, T-bone tomahawk steak, and this is how you're going to spice it. So we're going to put on some lovely, what is that? Steak and chop. Steak and chop spice? Oh yeah, Looking look at with. that. Yep. Oh, generously offering on that. A little bit of, what's that? Smoky paprika. Smoky paprika, guys. Also cooking with. Ooh, yeah. A little bit some of mix, mix, mix spice. spice. This is the secret spice. We're going to pat that down. And then, obviously, we get some lovely... Rose me out the garden, that's Which dried good. out. Just rubbing that on, pat that around. And then you can see if you need to give it a little bit more spice, if not. But I mean, that's looking pretty good. Give it a slap, love. <laughs> <laughs> and to the Spice Master, cheers. Cheers. You're gonna pop those on that little bad boy over there. That's not going nicely, those coals are burnt down. So the, the wood's burnt down and the furthest fire you can see, the other coals are ready to go. And just behind us over here, yes, the butternut's in already. I'm gonna pop those potatoes in just now. Um, they were pretty much uh, seasoned already. Salt and pepper, etc. on the potatoes. And the butternut's got? Garlic, butter, cinnamon, salt and pepper. Ultimate Brown Master's wife, eh? would you look at that? Guys, have an amazing day to all. It's going to give us a little bit more spice on the tops and the sides because you want to have that completely flavored and, and spiced all over. And then we're going to coarse salt, coarse salt the fat. So, so let's turn that around. We, we can put them against each other, put the two together. Okay, and I'll hold it like that. And then we're just going to generously give this, hold on a second. There we go. A bit bigger than my hand. I'm going to give that a lot of coarse salt. Because that's really going to get the flavor out. It's going to crisp right up and it's going to be spectacular.